everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, back at SHOT Show once again with the master of the machete, Joe Flowers, here at the Condor booth. And of course, as always, uh, awesome stuff here. What do you got? Well, this year, we got some stuff that's ultra light, quite a bit lighter than last year. This is a new Dooku Parade. We have it in two sizes. So what we tried to do was mimic the Malaysian style Parang's lightweight capabilities, but still keep a full tank. And so that's what we got here. We have a 10 inch and we have a 16 inch machete that's coming out. Let's get the point of view cam here. Point of view cam, look at that. Look at that <laughs> new technology stuff. That's right, high tech. He's actually checking his email through these Google glasses. So other new things we have this year, this is a tarpon knife. You know, I don't know about you, but when I go fishing, I've never done it without some kind of bottle open, some kind of bottle to be open, be it like, you know, root beer or, or some other beverage. And this one's small enough to fit in a small tackle box, yet still has a shackle tool on it. Something new this year that a lot of people seem to be asking for. Everybody likes to customize their condors, right? Oh, yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and give them the blade so that they're able to customize it themselves. So they're gonna be selling blanks. Blanks. So you guys can do your own handles. Fill in the blank. Waka waka. No complaining. So we have the bush floor, the kep heart, in a satin finish. And the woodlaw. Nice. And the woodlaw is one of my favorites and it's incredibly easy to put a handle on. Even for me. So that one. This one. I'm pretty proud of. You remember the Catalyst last year? Of course you do yes. because you've got the crap out of it. Tons and tons of hits on YouTube. Check out his YouTube Catalyst video. Well, this is this year's new sexy knife, the Final Frontier. This is based on a lot of qualities that a lot of people in the outdoor industry and in the survival world like. It's basically a lot like the Bush Lord, except more hardcore. It's got a point down the center line, full tang, hollow rivets. But it also has a pounding palm on the back, reminiscent of some USMC fighting knives and some of the old case knives of old. And it is welded on the bottom. You can take that, you know, put up your drywall, whatever you need to do. Also, open up coconuts, you name it. You should be able to do a lot with this. Yeah, the, if you can't do it with this, you probably couldn't do it in the beginning. This is gonna be a good fire knife, uh, feather sticks, uh, fire steel. You name it. And the cool part about this is if you want to, if you absolutely have to make a fire by, you know, striking a piece of flint or any other type of uh, or quartz, you can use the back of the, of the pommel instead of mucking up the back of your spine by hitting the back of the pommel much in the same way you would the spine vertically. Kind of neat. Is this a leather sheath or? Uh... Yes. This is a new leather sheath this year, new leather sheath design. Matt Graham from TV's, uh, he's on a TV show called Dual Survival, I'll just go ahead and say it, and there's turkeys in the background. He was using Condor on the, on the TV, on the, on the show, Matt Graham of Dual Survival was using a Condor knife on the show. We contacted him up, found out what he liked about it, and decided, and decided to design a knife based on that. So basically he had... Uh, he had one that he ground down himself, right? Yep, absolutely. And then you just went ahead and took all the extra work out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a Matt Graham knife. Primitive bush knife. Made out of 420 high carbon. Good weight. 90 degree spine. Very nice. Yeah, and, and you'll find a lot of these knives. You know, anytime you get into knives and you get into um, seeing what a lot of the people who use them outdoors uh, like, you'll see a lot of the same same basis, a lot of the same foundation. So, for instance, this one has a point almost exactly down the center line. You know, so does, uh, for instance, the Rainier's um, uh, Shing uh, Woodlore knife. Uh, a lot of them have a lot of these different foundations that you'll see anywhere. You go find a uh, guy out in Africa, and he's probably ground down his knife and have the same thing.
We also have a new bush cutlass. Rick, do we have that here? What's that? The bush cutlass? I mean, the new Also new this year. So everybody that looked at the old bush cutlass and they didn't like the plastic sculpted handle, now they got a wood handle, metal guard, very lightweight. That's gonna cut really, really well. This is a Condor Naval Cutlass. Uh, we took a lot of the same stuff from the Bush Cutlass and made it more of an authentic style sword. So you have, of course, the guard on the top made out of metal and uh, preparing whatever else that you're going to be doing with this. But what's also important is saber fencers and other, and other guys who know that type of martial art will appreciate that the point is still, like I said before, down the center line. You're not using it like a spoon, so you're still able to thrust with it. And of course, it has all the wonderful qualities that make it a great machete as well, not just a sword. Sir. This will be available in Yeah, now actually this year, you'll notice we don't have a whole ton of SKUs out. We already have stock made. So this stuff you're not going to be seeing. Uh, might even see next month, not like waiting, having to wait till June. And there's a bunch of stuff that uh, kind of came out late last year that I know is available now. Uh, I'll be getting myself here real soon, like the Pico Prang and uh, some of the other ones. So we won't have to wait a long time for some new stuff. Whatever you did on the Cortalis, it's been going crazy. You can't keep it in stock. There is actually like a, a negative deficit for um, the Cortalis right now because it's so hard to keep in stock. You're welcome. Thank you. I'd say probably this one's my favorite out of the bunch. Yeah, that one's going to do real well. You know, I might have to strip the coating, but oh well. Just, just feels good. So there you go guys, that's the new stuff for Condor for 2015 to look forward to. Check out their website, condortk.com. And of course, now that I'm aware that some of this other stuff has already been released, I'll be adding some more of the stuff to the Prepare My 101 store at preparemy101.com. And be sure to check out uh, Joe's site, Bushcraft Global. What's the web address? Bushcraftglobal.com. <laughs> Bushcraftglobal.com. And uh, we're going to do another video on that, so be sure to check that out. Check it out on Facebook, too. And Condor on Facebook as well. Go there. Like it. All right, guys. We're back with some more SHOT Show 2015, so stay tuned.